Hey, it's D-Mac, and I uh, kill you with truth. I'm in the shadows here, but you can see. Uh, <laughs> hey, there's my guy. Hey, there's Miko Rantanen. That's not Miko Rantanen. But I did talk to Miko Rantanen after the game. He scored a couple of goals and said they started off a little sleepy. They beat the Blue Jackets 6-1. to one. Blue Jackets are not a good team. Um, but they were down one nothing. And I asked Jared Bednar, can you put your finger on giving up those early goals? And, and there's really not a lot of explanation for it. It's just that Bednar said, well, we gave up an opportunity that could result in a goal. And it just so happens we gave it up early in the game. And he said he, we gave up opportunities like that later in the game too. And Columbus just didn't score. So the puck just takes some weird bounces um early on look at some somebody's like waving at me but but early on um with georgie I, I i don't know what to say about it it's just weird it's a little bit wacky how it happens they were down one nothing but they got right back in this one and again miko had a couple goals you know what everybody is hyper aware of is what's up buddy what's up pound it here you go it's my guy it's killer kowalski um, everybody is so aware of Nathan McKinnon's scoring streak. It's, it's absurd. And the Avs had a couple of goals. I think it was 3-1. believe it was 3-1, maybe even 4-1. And yeah, I see you. I see you guys. I see you guys. I don't care. What do I care? Like a bird. Here, give me a high five. Give me a, wait, high five. You're not, I don't get a high five. Um, it was interesting. Ben Nars said, <laughs> that's just, are you just looking at all the goofy people behind me? Ben Nars said that Mac was getting frustrated on the bench as the game was going on. Like everybody really wants this scoring streak to, to be something. And so the Building exploded when he got his breakaway goal. Uh, and then he got an assist like moments later. Uh, and then Val got a goal and, you know, Miko. And it was all good. But it, it is just so fascinating. Now it's at 33 games. 33 game home scoring streak. What's, what is this guy doing behind me? What's up, brother? Right here. Lo love you. Love you. All right. Thank you, brother. Appreciate it. Look at this. How great is this? This is the best. My guy. Ah, people are so nice. I love it. Oh, man, you can hear the, see the vibes. You can feel it. Everything's good. Everybody's pumped up in this building. And as the Avalanche start their longest home streak of the year, you just can feel that these wins are going to pile up. I mean, listen, it's, it's one to one after one. They hit the uh, post three different times. So... You knew goals were going to go in. Columbus isn't very good. Montreal's not very good. There's some not very good teams coming here. So not every game is the end of the road. Uh, not every game is like the playoffs. And sometimes a hockey game is just a hockey game. Talking to Casey Middlestad after the game, uh, there were some rotational shifts, and they allowed Miko to play with Casey Middlestad. That hasn't happened before, and it worked out all right. So Jared Bednar is still fooling around with a bunch of stuff, trying to figure things out. But overall, the flow and the vibe of the team is off the charts. I'll, I'll give you something really cool about the game. Wyndham Clark, local golfing legend, was here with the U.S. Open trophy. And very rare do you see athletes excited to meet like other athletes. But to see the U.S. Open trophy in the Avs locker room and Josh Manson was talking to him. Kale McCarr was waiting to talk to Wyndham Clark. I mean, you just don't see stuff like that very often. So very cool vibe, cool game. Um, nothing really spectacular about the game. Just a little odd that the Avs are losing one nothing again. I mean, I guess it's not odd. It happens all the time, I suppose. But then they rally back. They rally back because they're just a better team, much better team. So you got a cool win tonight. It was great to see Wyndham Clark. I think there's little things that just kind of bug coaches naturally. But when you have the offensive firepower that the Avs have, and with McKinnon and Miko and Val and Kale McCarr all having goals tonight, 
Ain't no stopping a team like that, no doubt about it. So nice win, 6-1 over the Blue Jackets. Bunch of knuckleheads who I love skating behind me after the game. And Wyndham Clark with the U.S. Open trophy in the house. It's a great Friday night. I kill you with truth.